Hey, it's MK and I am here with a color craze combination for you guys today with Janet Fritz. We have chosen this uh, particular palette and then we are also playing along with series 13, Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And this is the sketch that I'm going to pull inspiration from, which basically means I'm going to pull pieces from it that I like instead of use the sketch entirely. And it is from Rachel Rachel Gilliland. Um, so this is the color palette that Janet and I uh, created, or not created, I apologize. Um, we p chose from the, um, from Pinterest, and then we make a Pinterest board and we put them in the order that we want them to, and we do it every October. So here I am just sharing with you guys um, what pieces I'm going to pull from Rachel's um, sketch. I have these two photos of my husband uh, still pulling out crawdads from that lake. So here was a better photo of that crawdad. Um, some people call them crawfish. We've always just called them crawdads. Um, I, I'm not. I've never heard of crawfish, but I guess it's a it's a um, southern uh, word for them. So I have pulled out this stencil here to mimic the um, hexagon shapes in Rachel's sketch. And that is what I'm going to be um, lifting from her sketch. And I'm going to be using this pre-made background by 49 and Market because it had all of the cool colors um, in this, in this um, color palette. So it's got the teals and the blues. Um, and the browns, and then I went ahead and um, took everything that they had on this pre-printed side, and I pulled that out of the kit. So this is their this is their scrapbook workshop kit, and they have everything. So you can either use the page and just add your own photo to it, or you can mimic it and flip it over and build your own page. So I went ahead and I pulled out everything so that way I could build it on this side, but I'm not going to do it on this side because I actually am going to turn the page because I have two photos and the page going um, horizontal will work better for my two photos. So I went ahead and I just popped out all of the laser cut elements and then I put the chipboard elements all on top of my wax paper down there um, on underneath. So everything for the backside of this piece of paper um, to decorate is right here. Uh, well, not everything. There was a couple things that I missed out um, or I didn't use. But I also want to incorporate this My Mind's Eye um, piece because it actually matches the uh, toffee color in this palette. But I love this right here. It says difficulty scale, overall impression of task, reward for job well done. I just think that that made me laugh because he was trying to fish and all he caught were these crawdads. Like seriously, we have never done that before. Um, normally crawdad fishing uh, is actually crawdad catching um, requires a shallow river and well in our area and a bucket so we've never caught any on a pole before so he just was frustrated <laughs> as well as entertained <laughs> all right so i'm also going to be bringing in some darker blues now i've got this nouveau glacier paste um, and i'm trying to read what it says um, but it's it's ice frost is what um, or iced frost is what that says and then i have this one here that's worn navy. Um, one is uh, the the square tube is a vintage drop, and I'm bringing in the two blues down at the bottom with this, and I'm going to be putting them through my stencil. Now this glacier paste was well used. Uh, I, I barely had any left, which I did not know that uh, at the bottom of the barrel, so I had to add a little bit of water to it um, to get the flakes, because as you can see, the flakes have crusted together. Um, but I added just a little bit of distilled water to my pot to get that last little bit out. Now, I also am using a metal spatula because of the fact that I had to get everything well mixed together because it was all stuck to the walls. And a, and a plastic or a silicone spatula just would not do that for me. All right, so like Rebecca's sketch, I'm going to, or I'm sorry, I apologize, Rachel. Like Rachel's sketch, I am going to go ahead and um, you do the hexagon gone going through my layout um, from the left side to the right or from the right side to the left side and then I'm going to take my Nouveau drop in um, the vintage drop in uh, worn navy and go ahead and fill in some of those hexagons 
Um, I've actually never used Nuvo Drops like this before. Actually, I think I have. Uh, I think I have uh, here recently used them as the drop, but it's very rare. I love just putting them through my stencils, you guys. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to go through and uh, pick the ones that got smeared the most because I did have to um, put water in my glacier paste um, and it did uh, allow the color to go underneath my stencil, which I think is fine. It actually goes with um, the rest of the layout. So, all right. So as far as the sketch goes, that was pretty much it as what I'm going to be pulling from the sketch. Um, and then everything else will be central in the sketch or just like the sketch, except that instead of going um, vertical, it's all going to go horizontal um, because that's the photos that I had. Um, so I'm, I'm, t I'm, in a, in a sense, I'm taking those hexagon shapes, the, the large ones in Rachel's sketch, and flipping them um, to go with, uh, with my photos and with my papers and whatnot. Um, because I didn't want to create a cross on my layout. I don't want everything going up and down and left and right. Um, I wanted to keep everything on the horizontal. So that's what I'm doing. I'm also going to go ahead and cut out my difficulty scale <laughs> um, from that My Mind's Eye paper. And it was the Life Stories collection, uh, if I forgot to say that, because I'm a little, I got a little lost on my intro there. Um, <laughs> because I'm trying to explain what color craze is and the sketch and everything else. And we've just got a lot going on for October um, because October is when Christy's Beautiful Life, um, that's, it's Christy here on YouTube. Well, it's Christy's Beautiful Life here on YouTube, um, but she's Christy elsewhere. Um, and she does her uh, 30 days of sketches every three months. So she does it in March, June, and October. And Janet and I have decided that we are going to be doing a color craze in October. And what started that, to be honest, was that um, Christy combined one of her 30 days with September um, with the scrap timber that uh, the, the uh, Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts do together. Um, and so Janet and I had a void one October. And so we decided to do color craze and it was, um, people liked it. So we decided that we were going to go ahead and continue doing it. Plus we love using up our older products, looking for that color combination. I pull out papers I haven't seen in years because they're in my rainbow section, which my rainbow section is probably only about an inch and a half thick. You guys, maybe only an inch now. Um, but I very rarely go into that because I don't scrap by color. Um, I, I mostly scrap by theme and I have everything separated by collect, you know, by um, categories, um, themes that I normally scrap, right? And so um, it, it's, it's great for me to do color craze because I go into my, my, um, my color, my color category papers that are just, they don't really have a category at all. Um, they're, they're just mostly color. And so I have them in a rainbow order and I just pull them out. Well, for this one here, I was actually cleaning off my desk and I came across this particular kit, um, which again is the 49 Market Nature Study uh, scrapbook, uh, scrapbook al uh, I think workshop kit or album kit. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yes, it's that's, um, it, it's a whole kit and Janet and I have been realizing that with just this kit, you really don't need to buy anything else because it has a ton of elements you can use, um, all by itself. And all you need to do is really add the extra papers that they come out with the, the, uh, the collection kit papers. Um, but anyways, not trying to desell you guys. I'm just saying, save a little bit of money. That's where it works. Um, but yeah, it, it just, I saw all the colors that were on this very first color palette. So this kept, this layout did kind of come out really easy because everyone, everything was already there for me. Um, all the browns were there, all the teals were there, all the blues were there. And then I just felt like I needed to add that darker blue. So to add the darker blue uh, even more, I'm going to go ahead and splatter with Heidi Swap Color Shine in Navy, uh, just to give it that little bit of, I did this dark blue intentionally, and I felt like the hexagons needed to splatter out. All right, almost showed you guys the whole thing with my masking still on, but here you go. This is my layout for uh, October 1st, which is the first day of 
Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, as well as Color Craze that Janet Fritz and I do. And uh, I love it. I am so impressed with how fast it came together. I just, I absolutely love how all the all the things came together. Now I did end up adding a little bit of green to my layout um, because in the printed leaves was that um, middle teal color. Um, it was already in the printed leaves and so it allowed me to bring some green in plus my photos had green in it. Um, not as you know, not as teal as what's in the color palette, but you get the idea. All right, so don't forget to go check out Janet Fritz, who is Galaxy Girl Creations here on YouTube. I have her link down below. I also have a playlist for Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches for Series 13. And I also have the Facebook group where you can go and check out the album where people that don't have Facebook, or I'm sorry, that people don't have YouTube are going and putting their stuff in the album. So, all right. Thank you so much. And I will check you guys all later. Bye.